Hi, I'm Paul Ramsey, a data and AI specialist at Google Cloud. Today, I'm excited to demonstrate how you can leverage the Google Data and AI platform to deliver hyper-personalized product recommendations and uncover new marketing opportunities by combining the power of BigQuery and Spanner Graph. To demonstrate these capabilities, we'll follow the journey of a fictional chocolate company called Chocolate AI. Chocolate AI is a small, high-end chocolate dessert and coffee shop. They operate four brick-and-mortar stores in Paris, France. They have a small but dedicated marketing team who face challenges with increased customer churn, as well as a disappointing ROI from recent brand partnerships and influencer marketing campaigns. To help them overcome these and other marketing challenges, Chocolate AI's analytics team just deployed a new marketing analytics solution built on the Google Data and AI platform. Today, we'll walk through two features of the platform that combine the power of BigQuery and Spanner Graph. First, we'll build a social graph to maximize the effectiveness and ROI of brand partnerships by weeding out fraudulent accounts and surfacing ideal brand partners. Then, we'll increase customer retention and brand loyalty by delivering hyper-personalized product recommendations to customers who write negative reviews. And while this use case is focused on marketing analytics, the same social graph and collaborative filtering patterns apply across industries. So imagine I'm a marketing analyst at Chocolate AI, and it's my job to identify the ideal social media influencers we should approach for a brand partnership to help us drive sales to our stores. In the past, we've tried partnering with popular influencers who are well known throughout the region. However, those personalities tend to charge very high fees for limited brand mentions, and it's hard to quantify the impact of the campaigns. We've also tried partnering with lesser known influencers at the local level, but we found that many of those accounts inflate their engagement metrics by purchasing followers and interactions from bot accounts. This is a fraudulent practice that adds no real value to our brand, and it's a wasteful use of our limited marketing budget. Now, with BigQuery and Spanner Graph, we can take a novel approach to brand partnerships. First, we leverage BigQuery's new reverse ETL integration with Spanner, allowing us to easily import customer profiles and segmentation data into Spanner from BigQuery without having to write our own complex ETL pipelines or handle Spanner mutation limit logic. We then import social media data into Spanner, where we can build a social graph of the connections between our social media followers and the accounts that they follow. Finally, we map these accounts to real customer profiles and target segments. Now we can visualize and inspect which of our customers are followed by other customers in our target segment. And we can ignore accounts with lots of bot followers that add no real value to our campaign. For example, let's say I want to launch a new influencer marketing campaign to increase customer retention and drive new business to my stores. I can view my most popular social media followers and get an idea of their estimated reach and predicted ROI. This gives me an initial list of accounts I could reach out to for a brand partnership, but it isn't a very targeted approach. For example, I don't know whether the customers in my target segment will actually be reached by these influencers, and I don't know for sure that the influencers' reach metrics are authentic. So instead, I can use Spanner Graph to filter down my list of influencers based on their popularity among customers in a segment I've labeled as at risk. We've labeled these customers as the at risk due to declining purchase patterns or recent negative reviews. This reveals the influencers who are followed by an outsized number of my target segment, which just happen to have smaller overall followings and therefore are less expensive to partner with. This technique also ignores the accounts that I can't map to a real customer profile, which prevents me from wasting my budget on potentially fraudulent accounts. I can then select a combination of these influencers to get an idea of the overlap in their following. This helps me maximize my reach by avoiding too much duplication in my brand partnerships. Now, I have my ideal set of local influencers I can approach to establish a brand partnership, ensuring my target audience is reached and maximizing my social media marketing ROI. Now, let's say I've noticed an uptick in negative reviews on social media and review sites in the past few weeks. I want to increase customer retention and build loyalty by responding to these reviews with a personalized invitation to give us another try. 
This is a perfect use case for collaborative filtering with Spanner Graph. We start with existing data in BigQuery, Google's fully managed AI-ready data analytics platform. Here we have lots of valuable information about our business, including order history, menu items, customer profiles, and customer reviews. We again leverage BigQuery's reverse ETL integration with Spanner, allowing us to import this data into Spanner and create a graph representation of our customers' preferences. This lets us easily navigate complex relationships in our data and perform collaborative filtering across massive distributed data sets. Now we can deliver hyper-personalized menu recommendations based on shared preferences and real consumer behavior. For example, I can respond to a negative review by looking up menu preferences for other customers who also disliked the item in question. I can then use Gemini to draft a hyper-personalized retention email, offering the reviewer a discount to try out an item we think they'll like, based on the shared preferences of customers with similar taste profiles. But what if the reviewer doesn't use the correct name of the menu item, or they accidentally misspell it? We can use Spanner's new full text search capability to map the reviewed item to the actual menu item in the database. For example, here we have a menu item that might be hard to spell and almost certainly won't appear as an exact match in a review from a real customer. But using full text search in Spanner, we can map misspelled and incomplete product names to the correct item in our menu table. And in the case that the customer doesn't mention a menu item in their review at all, we can still get recommendations by matching their profile to similar customers using vector search in Spanner, leveraging Vertex AI's text embedding model to find the closest matches to a given customer based on what we know about them so far. And just like that, by leveraging graph and vector representations of the data we already had, we now have a powerful new tool at our disposal to retain customers and build brand loyalty. These are just a couple of the ways that we can leverage the combined power of BigQuery and Spanner to build loyalty in our existing customer base and optimize our marketing spend. Scan the QR codes on your screen to try out the demo in your own environment. The Spanner Graph Colab Notebook will walk you through these two examples, plus a bonus use case, where you'll query real-time and analytical data together with BigQuery's external dataset integration with Spanner. This new integration automatically leverages Spanner's serverless data boost feature which allows you to run unlimited analytical queries on your data in Spanner without negatively impacting your transactional workload. If you'd like to learn more about building a solution like this with your own data, reach out to your local Google Cloud sales rep. They can connect you with one of our technical experts for a deep dive into your use case. Thanks for watching.